2016 to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Mello? Councilor Souza? Present. Councilor Perry? Present. Councilor Mello? Present. Councilor Lambert? Present. Councilor Shabbat? Present. Councilor Pelletier? Yes, ma'am. Council De Medeiros will be late. The first item on the agenda is the council administering the oath of office to the fire department members Thomas M. Mello as fire marshal, Craig P. Insana, probationary firefighter, Patrick K. Gorman, firefighter, and Daniel K. Clark, Jr., firefighter. They could come up to the front. Madam President, if I may just for a moment or so, I'd like to tell you a little bit about these gentlemen that we have. Um, Tom Mello has been a department member since 2002. He is a nationally registered paramedic. He is also a certified fire in, uh, investigator. He's a CPR instructor, PALS instructor, ACLS certified, um, and has many no letters of commendation inside his file. Um, recently, Tom took a class for the State Fire Marshal's Office through the National Fire Academy and scored 91, I believe it was, on the test, Tom? No, oh, we got 100 on it. I apologize. I didn't mean to take any away from you. Um, Tom um, <coughs> does a great job with the fire marshal's office and has done a lot of work to uh, uh, bring that he office up to code. And uh, for the first time in a very long time, the town of Tiverton is pretty much about 80% or getting close to 80% of all of our inspections being done. As you see from your monthly reports from Tom, he puts a lot of time into it and uh, very proud to be able to recommend him for uh, the position of fire marshal. Also tonight we have three other members, um, Craig and Sonia, who is a new member. Craig worked uh, at Kent Hospital in the surgical unit for a while. He was a member of the Lake Mishnock Fire Department. Uh, he's graduated from Veterans High School recently. Craig has uh, embarked upon this and was in the Recruit Academy for the Fall River Fire Department. Uh, the first time that a member of the Tiverton Fire Department has been allowed to go into the Fall River Academy uh, where he received rave reviews from all the instructors there. We're very proud to have Craig be part of us. He is also an EMT cardiac um, and has done very well in that class itself. He's taken many classes up there. He's taken their flashover simulator, their natural gas school, their LNG school, um, and has done well in that whole program. Also tonight, there are two other firefighters, and as you can see by the turnout from members that are here around us, shows the respect of these two members who were members of the Lonsdale Fire Department. Um, Patrick Gorman graduated from Tiverton High School. He was a captain in the Lonsdale Fire Department, and because of um, reasons inside the Lonsdale Fire Department, um, he was not able to uh, remain there. They had closed and laid off several um, career firefighters that were there. Patrick had 10 years and served as captain there. He's also a state certified fire instructor. He is an aerial instructor, an, an engine instructor. He has confined space. He has hazmat operations, uh, and the list continues on and on. Uh, Patrick's parents still live here in Tiverton. Uh, very proud to have him as be part of it. Also tonight will be uh, Donald Clark. His mother and father are here. They are both members of the North Providence Fire Department. Um, Donald, again, was also from the Lonsdale Fire Department. And for three years, four years, he served there until uh, layoffs hit that department. And we are very, very fortunate. These are the members that you, as a council, put forward and were able to make available through the lateral transfers that we've talked an awful lot about. We're very, very proud to have them to be part of our department here this evening. And again, I think their respect that's shown to these members tonight that are being um, sworn in is evident by the number of people you see around the room. So if you wouldn't, ma'am, I would be honored if you would give the oath of office. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. That's okay. All right. Welcome, gentlemen. We long time member, but welcome new new members to the Tiverton Fire Department. We really appreciate that. Um, I'd like to administer the oath. If you could repeat after me, 
I, then state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support, enforce, and abide by the Constitution and laws of the United States of America and the state of Rhode Island that I will in all respects observe the provisions of the Charter and ordinance of the Town of Tiverton and will faithfully discharge the duties of uh, state your position for the town of Tiverton so help me God thank you and welcome <clears throat> And if you can indulge me for one more moment, I, I know you have a lengthy meeting and I don't wish, wish to make it too long. Uh, T.J. Tom's son would wish to pin his badge on uh, for Marshall. And unfortunately, his wife is in Florida right now and could not be here, but T.J.? It's okay, you can give your dad a hug. Right. Firefighter and Sonia would like to have his uh, badge pinned down by his girlfriend, Tanya DiMartino. Did I get that correct? would ask to have his badge pinned down by his wife Amy. Donald would like to have his pin down by his dad, Donald Sr., and his mom, Kathy. Before they all leave, um, and I don't know the other three gentlemen as well as I know Tommy Mello, um, and he won't tell you this, but we're on a homeless commission in Fall River where uh, Tom is the coordinator for our overflow shelter, which serves 33 um, homeless um, women and, and men uh, in our overflow shelter every single night from January 1st until March 31st. So thank you, Tom. Thank you, Councilor. I appreciate that. Thank you, everyone. Sorry I'm late. At this time, I'd like to entertain a motion to go into executive session um, as requested by town solicitor. Um, it will be under town solicitor, potential litigation, 4246582, Plantation Drive, Sewer Issue. I have a motion. Uh, I'll make the motion. Second. Motion be made in second. All those in favor, Ms. D'Souza? No. Councilor Perry? Yes. Councilor Mello? Aye. Councilor Lambert? Yes. Demideris? Aye. Councilor Shabbat? Aye. Councilor Pelletier? Yeah. We're now in executive session. It 